The door goes up, the lights go on, the live audience awaits. But getting a show ready for opening night can be quite the ordeal. We're back with our friends at the Playhouse to find out more about this process. Ironically, Becky, you play the role of Becky. I do. Can you tell me a little bit about her character? Sure. Becky is kind of in a rut. You know, middle age, she has this job that she's not really fulfilled by, and you know, the marriage is okay, but it's, you know, there's the spark is kind of gone, so she's just kind of coasting through life. And one day at work, um, a, a gentleman happens to come in looking to buy some cars, and it turns out that he is uh, extremely wealthy. His wife has just died, and, and he becomes smitten with Becky and offers her a chance to kind of escape this this sort of humdrum existence. And so the show is really about the decisions that she makes and, and sort of, she sort of blows up her life and then there are these pieces that she has to pick up. Did you know about the theme of the show before you auditioned? Well, the Playhouse is actually doing a series of staged readings uh -huh. once a month and they had done this show in April. Happily for me, they asked me to play the role of Becky in the staged reading, so I was familiar with the script. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephen Dietz is a great playwright, and so even just the fact that it was a script by Stephen Dietz was something I was really interested in. And finally, what do you want the audience to take away with after they've seen the show? What's your goal as Becky? Personally, there are some things that are hard to love about Becky because she <laughs> makes some decisions that a lot of people would agree are not the best decisions, but at least she does something. I mean, she's every person that's, that's ever, you know, thought Oh, <laughs> my job, my kids, my life, you know, she's every person that's ever thought that and we've all thought it, you know, we have. So I guess that's part of the, the goal is to just make her relatable. Well, thanks for joining us, Becky. Sure. And break a leg. Thank you. Angie, walk us through the process of designing costumes for Becky's new car. Well, Becky's new car is about average everyday people. So I think about people I know or people I see on the street and how they would dress. The script tells me a lot, but you know, how would Becky dress up for an evening out? So that's why I chose this dress. It's a very bold color. Yeah, this dress she gets into on stage. So we had to make sure she could get into this. It's a bold color because she's a lead character. We want to see her. <laughs> Is it hard to find costumes just out and about that fit the show? It varies. You know, sometimes you walk into a store and you go, that is the dress. That's the moment. Something that you know will stand out, something, you know, that will accent. But sometimes it's so specific, you need the right size. I've been to a lot of the department stores, a lot of women's clothing stores over the last month. People have probably seen me out there. And I'm looking at the shoes thinking, there are so many of these shoes that I would put on. They're very contemporary. It's amazing how many I had to come up with. Almost all of these are in the show. And they're, they're a variety, you know, Target boots <laughs> and even a pair of Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton. Those belong to the actors, though. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Angie. You're welcome. Leanne, Becky's new car sounds like a hilarious show. How can people get tickets? They can give us a call at 277-6261, go online at dmplayhouse.com, or of course stop by the Playhouse ticket office. Great. We got our tickets. Should we go on in? Let's go. Mm -hmm.